Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. Thank you again, Money Radio. That's right. This is David Kogan with Alliances. This show is about heroes. I guarantee you, if you listen to this show carefully and you will learn something from our heroes that you've never learned before, each has a special nugget because a hero is one that is building their community. They're making a difference in the lives that they touch. We just had the world-renowned authority on personal development, he's been featured in The Secret. That was Dr. John Demartini. Other lineups today, we have the former president of UPS International. He's only responsible for 65,000 employees. We're going to wrap up the show with the CEO of two Inc. 505,000 companies. And this gentleman is on cable news all the time. But our next hero, listen real carefully because you will have surely have known his brand. He is in the fun industry, the happy industry too, because his name is Tony, Tony Lamb, and he is with a company called Kona Ice. And you could go to Kona-Ice.com or Kona-Ice.com. Now, you're the CEO, the founder of Kona Ice. Now, how did you take something that, well, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it to you, but was known really right as a snow cone and turn it into such a successful company? You know, David, that's exciting to talk about because of the fact uh, it is an exciting industry. It was such a damaged industry. Everybody was doing it, but they weren't doing it well. Uh, the ice cream truck industry uh, out there was not being done well. Uh, I was so uh, mesmerized at the experience that I had with a Kona truck, with an ice cream truck that was so bad that it, it, it inspired me to go ahead and build something that was just going to blow everybody away. And I did it initially, you know, just for our local markets. But then as we started developing through it and looking at everything, it was one of those things that I thought, you know, this, this has got big legs. Uh, this has got something that we could do nationally, so we got after it and uh, and built it. Tony, this is a huge accomplishment. I mean, you've got 700 franchise locations, 48 states, Puerto Rico, Canada. You're growing and growing. Got to ask you, though, Tony, what's the magic of why so many people want Kona Ice? They line up for it. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I can tell you I've seen your trucks, and there's a line going all the way around the truck, and I'm waiting with my son, and he, he's jumping up and down. He's bouncing off the truck. I'm bouncing up and down off anything else. Why? How? Ah, uh, man, you're going to bring tears to my eyes. David, that's, 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 that's beautiful words that you say when you say that people are jumping up and down. Listen, it's a commitment to a great quality product. Uh, we use just the absolute. We make our own syrups. Uh, we make our own product. Uh, we have these incredible shavers on the trucks. But the big thing, the thing that makes Kona so unique is the flavor way, where kids go and they create their own concoctions and, and do whatever they want with their Kona. Uh, they can they can make uh, – I think there's – someone had told me there's over 20,000 different combinations of Kona ices that you can make. We've got 50 flavors on the truck plus combinations and all kinds of different uh, varieties and things. And it is. It's that, it's that commitment to interactive. It's exciting, It's um, and it's quality. It's high quality. The trucks look like Disneyland. They are just uh, eye-popping with all the great colors, and the, the, uh, they whisk you away to the tropical island when you see the truck, and it's got the ocean on the front, and it's got the, uh, the uh, uh, tiki hut on the side of it. It just gives you the, uh, the feeling that you're going to get a little escapism for just a minute. And so the parents love that. The kids love that. And then when you hand the kid, um, the, the, the little customer, a little cup of fresh shaved, fluffy snow, and they get to go to the side of the truck and create whatever they want, man, the imagination just opens up. And I think that's, that's really the key to it. And that's what I love about it too, is, is that when I have one, I'm able to pick what I want. Maybe I want to mix and match. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, but, but so, so let's get to this question. Very technical question now, Tony, this is a very technical one. Okay. Are you ready? All right. All right. Yes, now, I'm ready. Now, you told, you told us about how many flavors and combinations you have. 
But does a flavor one chooses say anything about that person? In other words, can you tell who's going to choose what? And do flavors, does it, does, does it mark what somebody's personality is? Because I want to be careful what I choose. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, Tiger's Blood has always been our number one flavor. And I think that's partially because of the name, but partially because of um, just the idea of, of Tiger's Blood. You know, Charlie Sheen made it famous uh, when he went, went on in one of his wild rants one time, and he was talking about Tiger's Blood. And that is a, a, a very big flavor for us. But it's funny because you see the kids that will steer towards – we've got a proprietary flavor called Island Rush. Uh, we've got um, – We've got all kinds of cool names, uh, Orange You Happy, and that's an orange flavor, Monkey Business. But you'll see the adults come and grab the mango, grab the very traditional, but the kids always go crazy with it. Amazing. So I think it, it might not so much your personality, but certainly your age wow. would, uh, would, be, uh, uh, if, uh, would be telling on, on what you get. And you're listening to Alliance's Heroes on Money Radio AM 1510 and FM 99.3. Are you a hero in business? Are you building the community? Are you doing something amazing, helping one another? Go to Alliance's.com. That's E-L-I. A-N-C-E-S dot com. We are a community of builders, and Tony is a builder. He is the founder, the CEO of Kona Ice. You can go to Kona-Ice.com. So many things going on. Well, you know, what was when was the first time that you had a snow cone? When, when was the first time? And, and tell me about that experience. Do you remember it? Um, yeah, of course, you know, I was young when I had a snow cone, and I just remember a snow cone is a different product than what we really do. We, we you know, we get caught up in that vernacular, uh, that, that comment of snow cone. We are pure shave ice. And shave ice, uh, a, a tropical thing where the ice comes in very light, very fluffy, just co- completely collapses in your mouth. And the, uh, the snow cone is reminiscent of those you know, rocky, hard. I know I go to the uh, Major League Baseball games and I'll get a snow cone. And I got to get myself psyched up for it because as the uh, the ice is hard, it's been in a freezer for a long time. You know, right. they're running up and down the stands. Um, and, and, a, and a shave ice, a, a true shave ice, would only probably last in the direct sunlight maybe just a few minutes because it's so light and so airy. Oh. And uh, so that, that's it. The first time I had a shaved ice, I, I was hooked immediately. And did you ever think at that time that you would end up becoming really, I mean, building such a large company, in fact, putting so many people to work because they have the opportunity to own their own franchise through you? Did you ever think of that? Uh, it's very surreal. Very, um, I was traveling one time with my family on vacation. We were in, uh, I think, Greenville, South Carolina, probably 10, 12 hours away from my house. We're driving down the interstate. I passed a Kona truck. And, David, I think that's one of the first times that it hit me. I'm like, I am out in, the, in, in you know, hundreds and hundreds of miles away from my home, and I see something that, that, that was my, you know, my invention, so to speak. And I was so blown away, and I just remember the feeling that I had. I, was, I, I thought, this is really doing it. We get letters and social media responses from all over the country. I, I've got my whole office is just filled with letters from these hilarious little kids that, have, that have talk about how – Kona has changed them and how, how much they love Kona. I've got a picture right now on my desk of the girl. We sent a picture into corporate that said, I am Kona Ice's number one fan. Unbelievable. And I put it up because that's what it's all about right there. And, Tony, you're amazing. President of Kona Ice, you've created a brand. Anyone with children know your brand, plus many of those that don't have kids. We have many <laughs> listeners that are building their company or expanding their company. What advice can you give, maybe a few critical factors, to branding? Because you have done an amazing, amazing job of branding. Well, that, thank you so much. I mean, it's not just me. It's, we've got some great designers. We've got some great consultants that have come in and helped us uh, to, to give this look and feel of Kona Ice. Um, uh, so it, it's, it's not just me. But let me tell you something. It is everything. Uh, the branding of it. People have to be able, if they see it in Phoenix, Arizona, and they're traveling to Denver, Colorado, and they, they see a Kona truck, they have these expectations. They know exactly what it's going to taste like. They should have the exact same experience, um, if not better, at every different place, every different Kona truck they go to. 
And, you, and and that's important. Brand has to be consistent. And again, you can reach Tony by going to Kona-Ice.com. He's the president of Kona Ice. You can also go to Alliances.com. That's the place where entrepreneurs align. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. Tony, we've got less than a minute left and, and, and so much going on. But one of the big things is, too, is another thing maybe people don't know. You're very involved with the community. You give back to the community. In fact, how much money have you given back to the community? community and quickly what has it been used for listen that's that's the secret that's if i have to say the secret the secret is i started it was passionate for me to give money back to my community give a portion of the proceeds back and and do fundraisers uh, we started doing that but all my franchisees that have come in have ex- have adopted that we're over 35 million dollars as a company nationwide given back to schools youth sports groups local organizations, churches, youth groups, fundraisers, all kinds of things, Right for Life, uh, the, uh, the Relay for Life, all the different things that people have got us involved in. And it's up to the franchisee. They get a pick what they're passionate about. They can go out there and, and do those things with. So very Excellent. excited about that and I'm blown away still that Excellent. my franchisees have adopted that. Excellent. Well, you heard it. Get your tiger's blood by going to Kona-Ice.com. And when we return... Former president of UPS International, David Kogan with Alliances.